Um, we've just been joined in the studio by a guest. So, would you like to tell us about yourself? I'm Dan Jarvis. I'm the Member of Parliament for Barnsley Central, but I'm also the Shadow Culture Minister. So I'm delighted to be coming back to Exeter. It's a place I know quite well. I used to live in the South West for a number of years. Um, I'm really pleased to be here. I've been visiting uh, Animated Exeter this morning. Um, I'm looking forward to going to the Sound Gallery very shortly. OK, um, so I was going to ask what... Um, what have you been seeing in Exeter? Well, I'm going to let you into a bit of a secret. Okay, the, the, the so this is a first. This, this is both a first and an exclusive. My, okay. My, my, my first port of call was Marks and Spencers. Oh yes. Because when I got on the train this morning, I realised that I'd lost the heel from <laughs> my shoe. Oh, not Which was good. a bit unfortunate and a bit embarrassing. So, so having arrived at the station I went straight to Marks and Spencer's to, to sort that out so that was that was the first thing I did um, second thing was um, to talk about um, Animated Exeter which I think is a fantastic festival that takes place every year um, it's going to be running in February um, I think it's really important on, on a number of levels not least because it involves young people in Exeter getting involved with animation I think that's really important so I think th this is precisely the kind of activity and event as the Shadow Culture Minister I want to be encouraging so I'm really pleased to be here in Exeter to be talking about these kind of issues. Well I'm pleased you're here in the studio Dan so thank you. Thank you. Um, and I was going to ask how the people who listen to my show and there are many I've been told this morning and um, had a few requests so that oh, I've got remembered I've got a bit more work to do. Um, so um, how do people find out about you and what's around and what you're doing? Well they, they can go to, to my website that's a pretty good start. But um, I think it's maybe worth me just saying a couple of things about the kind of work that I'm doing as the Shadow Culture Minister. Okay. What I've said is that the creative industries is, is, is a key priority for me. They account for a significant proportion of GDP, two million jobs and billions of pounds, potentially 50 billion pounds of the investment in the economy. So I think it's really important that we make sure that we've got a vision for growth. I don't think the government has been able to articulate a coherent plan to ensure that our creative industries, which are world leading, um, continue to be competitive in this very important field. So I think that's kind of the first point. The, the second point I've made as the, the, the Shadow Minister for Culture is that most people don't live in London. And I know from visits that I've done and from conversations that I've had with people around the country that there's a huge passion for culture and the arts outside of London. So I've launched a report to look at what more can be done to support arts in the regions. And that's partly why I wanted to come to Exeter to, today to talk to people about what they think about culture and the arts because I do know and I do understand that most people don't live in London um, and because there is this passion, this appetite to be involved, I think that government should do more to give people opportunities to be involved with the arts um, outside of London. So we've launched a report to look very carefully at what can be done um, and that's you know something that we're launching and talking about while we're down here in Exeter today. Oh yes, because there are lots of great little arts projects like there are things at the Phoenix, the Sound Gallery, which you're hoping to go to in a minute, well, a while. And there's Phonic FM and the Phoenix, there's always arts things shown here so lots of great things and I'm sure that's only the tip of the iceberg. I think you're right it is the tip of the iceberg I and mean, I'm really looking forward to going to the Sound Gallery which is celebrating its 10th birthday so very many congratulations to them um, and I think you know when I talk to people here in Exeter I understand um, that th there is that passion there is that appetite to be involved and in supporting these kind of activi activities so 
When you talk about culture and the arts, the reality is that most people instinctively think about London, and it's a good thing that London is a global and national hub for culture and for the arts and for the creative yeah. industries. But I know from my visit today, and I'm going on to Bristol later on, there's a huge amount of activity within the creative industries in the Southwest. And I think it's firstly really important that we recognise that, but more important, we work out what, what we're actually going to do to support startup businesses, companies who are involved with these kind of activities but are based not in London, based in the South West. What can government actually be doing to support them? Now Labour's got a five point plan um, and I think the reality is that, that these are sensible proposals that we put to the government that would, I think, massively benefit companies, firms, not just within the creative industries in the South West but across the economy. So it's about getting out there, having these kind of conversations with people uh, and that's hopefully what we'll have, you know, quite a lot of opportunity to do that today. Yeah, um, which is always good. Um, I understand that music has always influenced you and I believe you've got a track for us. I have got a track for you this morning. It's Night Swimming by R.E.M. Um, this is a track I've probably listened to a thousand times. Um, I'm not going to kind of pretend it's got any massively deep meaning to me personally. The honest truth is, I think it just sounds good, um, and sometimes that's that's not a bad reason to, to listen to music. Yeah, that's what we say on this show. Listen to music because it sounds good, and I like REM night swimming, so here's some REM night swimming. Yeah, we can. That's good. Good stuff. 